Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn together how to load a trajectory file into VMD or DCD file. So after you run your simulation, you want to do some visualization or calculation on your simulated system in VMD. So it's very simple. We go to file, new molecule, and you choose your DCD file. Here's mine, water mvt.dcd it's a 5000 frames dcd so i say open and uh, vmd automatically will recognize your file type that's it's a dcd file project and you say load and we are waiting here it has 5000 frames but till now you haven't seen anything here because as we learned in a previous video that you need your information about your structure and we get it from yes correctly PSF file and I go to the PSF file of this simulated system here it is water.psf.psf and I say open and again automatically VMD will know that it's a PSF file and I say load and here is your structure. It's a protein. My structure. It's a protein. And you can see your simulation here. Let's run it. You see. It's a 100 nanosecond simulation. And you can visualize it. Do your own calculation. You can stop. You can go forward. Till the end of your simulation. But VMD has another option to load a specific number of frames from your trajectory. Hey, your trajectory is too big. And if you load it into your, in, into your VMD in your personal computer, your computer is going to crash or your program is going to crash. And even it didn't, if, if it didn't crash, I mean, sometimes it's extra information. So let's delete this structure and now we will understand it. A file new molecule and let's choose this, the same trajectory file and here the frames here it's obvious the first frame PCD files starts from zero and this is the last frame so we will start from the first to the last and here we have a nice option stride this option determines how many frames are gonna be skipped during loading your structure so say I will make it 10 now I'm telling VMD that skip 10 frames each time. Each time you give me a frame, it's kept 10. So if it's 10, it will give me the 0 frame, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I had 5,000 frames, it's going to be 500. So I minimized my file type. And let's say load, here's it, 500 frames. And again, you're going to load your PSF file and you say load. And here your simulation became, became shorter. Let's get it to the beginning and say, you see, it's just 500 frames. And this is adjustable on your specific case. What do you want? How many frames? Should it be very long? Or it's used to check all the frames. That's it.